Hey, good people, I've got a story to tell. It's about a fish that becomes popular by slaying a great white shark. There is also a shark that doesn't eat meat and becomes friends with the fish. Things go wrong when the truth is revealed. Watch the rest to see what happens. In the South Side Reef, a lowly blue streak cleaner Ras named Oscar fantasizes about being rich and famous. Soon after arriving for work at the whale wash, he is called to his boss's office, a pufferfish named Sykes, to discuss the money he owes and that repayment is due the next day. Later, talking to his angelfish best friend, Angie. Oscar remembers being humiliated as a child because his father was a tongue scrubber, so Angie offers him a shiny pink pearl that was a gift from her grandmother to pawn and pay his debt. Meanwhile, a gang of criminally inclined sharks, with associates such as orcas, swordfish, and octopuses, has a problem with Lenny, a vegetarian shark. His crime lord father, Don Edward Lino, orders his violent eldest son, Frankie, to mentor his brother in the family business. Oscar brings the money to a seahorse race to meet Sykes, but hears that the race is rigged and bets it all on a seahorse named Lucky Day. A lionfish gold digger named Lola sees this and flagrantly seduces an excited Oscar. Sykes is annoyed that Oscar bet the money, but he hopes that Oscar might win. When the race starts, Lucky Day's door does not open, the race was rigged against him, but Lucky Day breaks through the door and eventually takes the lead, only to trip and lose short of the finish line. Sykes loses his temper, orders his two Jamaican jellyfish henchmen, Ernie and Bernie, to deal with Oscar. Frankie sees Oscar and urges Lenny to eat him, but Lenny instead frees Oscar and tells him to escape. Furious and fed up with his brother's tenderness, Frankie charges at Oscar, but suddenly an anchor from above the surface falls on his neck, slaying him. Devastated and blaming himself for his brother's demise, Lenny leaves. As there were no other witnesses and Oscar was seen near the body, everyone in the reef comes to believe that he killed Frankie, an opportunity that Oscar decides to exploit for fame. Oscar returns to the reef with a new title of Shark Slayer. Sykes becomes his manager and forgives Oscar's debt, and Oscar moves to the top of the reef to live in luxury. At the same time, Don Lino has everyone search for Lenny and the so-called Shark Slayer. When several sharks approach Oscar's neighborhood, his neighbors expect him to drive them away, so he goes out and encounters Lenny. Since he does not wish to return home and face his father, Lenny begs Oscar to let him find a safe place since he's aware of his lie. Soon, Angie finds out about Oscar's lie from Lenny and threatens to tell everyone. Oscar and Lenny stage an event in which Lenny pretends to terrorize the town, and Oscar pretends to defeat him in battle. This further cements Oscar's popularity and makes the sharks believe that Lenny has been killed too. Lola sneaks in and kisses Oscar on screen, which makes Angie jealous. That night, as Lenny disguises himself as a dolphin, Oscar and Angie get into a heated argument, where she reveals that she had feelings for Oscar even before becoming the shark slayer, causing Oscar to reflect on the consequences of his selfishness, and he dumps Lola, who beats him up in anger. Oscar buys some gifts for Angie, only to discover that Don Lino has kidnapped her to stage a meeting. Lola has also attended the meeting with the intention of taking revenge on Oscar for their breakup. 
Don Lino threatens to eat Angie if Oscar does not surrender. Lenny grabs Angie into his mouth, but then regurgitates her. Enraged, Don Lino chases Oscar through the reef. Oscar heads for the whale wash and tries trapping Don Lino, but accidentally traps Lenny in the machinery. Oscar outsmarts Don Lino, finally trapping him between the machine. Everyone cheers for Oscar, but he finally confesses the truth behind Frankie's death. He then tells Don Lino that everyone loves Lenny for who he is and urges him to respect everyone's individual choices. Don Lino reconciles with his son and accepts him for who he is, and states that he and his gang bear the city no ill will. Oscar forsakes all the wealth he has acquired, makes peace with the sharks, becomes co-manager of the whale wash, now frequented by sharks, orcas, swordfish, and octopuses, and lives happily ever after with Angie as he enjoys an honest life. Now, the story comes to a close. Share this story with your best friend. Goodbye.